Islam. Peace and great health. Assalamu alaikum to the fidels. Peace be unto you to the infidels. This is Count Noble L. Dallas L. Bailey Bay, representing the Moore Society for the Ministry of America. This is the Moore View podcast, where I do reaction videos, also do a little teaching, education, opinionated on the reaction stuff, but education is not opinionated, it's based on facts. Um, cover a lot of different things here. Um, we'll be covering a whole lot of different things here. Uh, if you want to follow me on my IG page, it is on uh, count underscore noble underscore L Dallas, E L D A L L A S. Our uh, Facebook page is more made, M O O R made. We're going to do a reaction video to um, on the daily wrap up crew, um, another um, channel I follow um, to get, you know, just the different opinions from a lot of different groups um out here and this um is a, a little clip from their from their show um why are black women finding black men less desirable modern life dating um follow the daily rapper crew they, they do a really good job of, um having um different people come out there express their opinions on different topics it's very respectful it's not it's not I don't even look. I don't even look at anything they do as anything close to being ratchet or ghetto and things like that. It's it's very, it's very professionally done. Very cool. Um, big up city jump in and to the ladies that um that come on to the panel. Let's get it. As um, are black women finding black men undesirable or less desirable? I should say. Yeah, I feel like you can't speak for all women like okay. all uh, black Martha, can, you, can you play that first clip that i sent you like <laughs> i imagine a guy he's really sweet um we're both ambitious and educated that's exactly the type of guy I wanted. It, it, it's just like there's no turning back because these dusties are dusty like you just belong in a coffin I agree. He's the most sweetest, wonderful man, caring, loving, patient, honorable, wonderful guys. Um, and, and, and you know what's so sad? Our mothers should have left the, left the black man a long time ago. Oh, baby. So this, oh. like. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen this, so I made sure I didn't I didn't see this so I could react to it. Um as we present it. Damn. Go to this uh, the um um podcast I did about Cynthia G. Um, um she she posted I, I just just, just think it. Sheesh. Um, she posted about how black men, black black men should be aborted. Um, black boys or black men babies should be aborted. You know, like what else is the uh, the answer? I'm damn. Yeah, I don't know. This is a this is a, a clubhouse room. And this it was a white there's a white man appreciation this course. Sweet yeah, this yeah, oh. and it was just black women showing their appreciation by the same time, like um showing their displeasure for, for black men. So the only reason I asked this question because you know we all well I'm on social because obviously the podcast, but whatever the case is, but I see a constant trend of black men ain't shit, black men are dusty, black men are broke, black men are the weakest link, black men are this, that, and the third. It was even to the point where there's trends of black women like, oh, get your white man, girl, leave these black dudes up more. There's a trend on to y'all. Yeah. So maybe the algorithm is really blessing me with some beautiful positivity because oh, I don't be seeing this next. I don't even know what you're yeah. talking about. It is crazy. That is I blood. see this one girl, she was putting up a lot of videos on TikTok. And she was just, she was bitter. Like, honestly, that's just what it is. They're, they're bitter. They're very bitter. Like, girl, heal from that. Like, to 
say that, like, wow, that was actually like that was hurtful. Like, wow, that was really bitter. So, so what about y'all? Like, y'all, do y'all see this in the community, or I mean, you see it, you hear it, you live it. Like, you know, what I mean, it's crazy. I'm 46 years old, and I'm no um, men won't shit my entire life. I was born in 1975, and it was not anything that I told to myself. It was just, it was just like a known fact. It was, I mean, so much so. I mean, I, I, I mean, in a lot of cases, I really feel like you know, I was, I was really raised to be a, a beta male. Nothing is wrong with being raised being, you know, raising a young man to be gentleman and knowing how to treat a woman. I was raised to do, but I was kind of always, I wasn't raised to let anyone take advantage of me or anything, or anything to that regard, but like, like the skills of and me and my father never really had that type of relationship until I got older, like until like almost really until I became a father. We that we had that a different kind of relationship, but and I used to ask my mom anything about whatever like that, you know. But at the same time, she's not a man, you know. And I remember thinking a certain thing, a certain ideology i mean by, by the time i graduated from high school when i went to college i was like i was a woman's number one fan i was a woman's cheerleader you know what i mean i was like you know me and ain't shit we, we you know we sit down us on every occurrence you know and uh i had an experience you know other women outside of my my small de- demographic you know before going to college you know so my idea, you know, of women was of the highest order. And I ain't saying that it isn't of the highest order now. It's just having having grown up experiences of having had grown up experiences. I know, now I know the other story, if that makes any sense. Like you hear, we always hear one-sided stories a lot of times. And that's why the ideology of thinking like, my man ain't shit. I just knew it, you know, I just knew like that, that's, so my, so as a man, I had to prove to, and I always said I wasn't in the proving business, but in my mental, I always knew like, I have to prove, I have to show an example to anyone I'm, I'm ever in the presence of that I'm not that dude. It's like a built-in um, behind the eight ball, you know, they say, well, you, you born behind a ball, born, you born black or more and a man or like that. So you're already at a, a disadvantage. I mean, I disagree on many levels of why we ain't at a disadvantage, but to the social structure, I completely agree on why we are at a, at a disadvantage, you know, um, guilty until proven innocent type thing. But I, I was, I mean, I, I mean, I was raised, I was raised beta. I can't say I wasn't. And I'm not saying being a gentleman isn't um what you what you don't want your men to be. You do want you want you you want your young man to be to be gentlemen. It's just you want them equipped. You know, you, you need they need a certain type of guidance, of awareness of what can possibly happen. They they need the tools to know how to to defend themselves in every kind of way. It's, you know, socially, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, you know, and then the right steps to take to avoid putting yourself in harm's way, you know, type of thing. But that gentleman type male in the world is like, I used to always equate it to for a young man to be a gentleman trying to um, meet women or like that um, is is the equivalent to an angel with wings 
in the pit of heaven. They're going to burn the hell off. They just are. They're not going. You're not. You're not going to survive. It's just like you know. It's like an ice cube in hell, man. It's just. It's not. It's not going to survive. You know that he's he's going. He's going to be scorned so much, just because that's just not. I ain't saying that's what women don't like, but they like them. They like gentlemen. Women like gentlemen. But don't be too nice. It's a bad thing to say. And nice in Latin is stupid. Don't be too stupid. Don't be too stupid, young man. Like, it, these videos, that video, Sound clip doesn't like do it, like you know. I'm just gullibly stupid. So, there's so much more, and then it's just like you always gotta get this 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 challenging role from most black women. You know, well, not I don't want to say most, but majority. I would say it's it's hard because I don't want to say it's, it, it's. I know exactly what he's trying to say. It's like most because yeah. of the, the, the yeah. social media, like that's what that was highlighted. I don't right. want to say that's in my home as well. Right. But it is kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. In I don't know. Home. I'm saying it's not at my home, oh, but I'm saying like it's hard. Uh, yeah, and to reiterate, like how, how I was raised to um to be a beta. Like one mother and father is separated. Um I was the man of the house, you know. So I mean, I was the man of the house and since I was like five years old. So I went in the house with um with my mother, my sister. Uh, my cousin, um, another woman, and my grandmother, and they expected me to do all the male duties of the house. Now you might like that's kind of crazy, five, you know, five, six years old, but it was, it was what was expected, is what I I did, you know, anything. You know, get broke in the house or like that that could be maintenancely fixed. I did, you know, didn't really you know figure out how to do it, no matter what it was, you know. You know, have a physical activities outside, you know, um did gardens, um, for farming, we grew food and uh, you know, the entrepreneur things um for my grandmother, had to do it from the time I was in the first grade to till I till she passed away um, in the ninth grade. So like from so from like from six to fifteen, um, I was built to know how to cater to a woman. You know what I mean? Not the other way around. You understand what I'm saying? So by by doing that, I know how to cater to women, like almost to a detriment. You know, and I used to think it was a plus. Um, growing up, um, thought it was good. Like I know how to, you know how you know, please a woman and, and cater in that in that magnitude type type of way. Um, take care of home, you know, all those type of skills and, and stuff like that. You say with well, you know, for something like that, maybe domesticated, but it just those type of things just made me in, independent. You know, from that part, you know, of, know, of knowing how to handle. All, all type of family type of structure for, for paying and taught of how to pay how, how to pay bills and just everything that really every I feel like every child should get that too because some people don't know how to wash their own clothes when they go to college so you understand like the that the difference of, of being how how p- different people can be raised but being raised like that like how did I know that that, that man won't shit is like I could say you know just being around my sister and her 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 friends you know my sister's four years older than me so i'm the youngest so you see things you hear things you know what i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know just about <laughs> how we you know how men are from a woman's point of view basically you know it's not like any of those things in a, in a highlight you know it wasn't like oh they're great in this magnitude i, I don't i don't remember those things uh I remember, just remember um, 
the, the, you know, how hard a man can work, you know, the ability that he do have in, in that regard, you know, and sometimes you do hear like, you know, how um, some women give, you know, those, those men a hard time. And I got, I got a well-rounded view, but the woman was, in, but, but I always would say like in my, my mental, the woman was number one and me on shit. It's just, it was just an instilling. You just, you learned it. You know what I mean? Like black boys learned it. Terribly enough, I try to ra raise my black and more, you know what I mean? With pure confidence as well as my black and more young ladies, you know, let them know that they are, they are gods because the decision that they make is going to formulate their world. It's their decisions and their choices that's going to be who they are and who they are not. Um, the negative gets a lot of promotion, so that's it's kind of always <laughs> like I ain't gonna hold you like, but it's yeah, it's, it's rough because that's that's all you see on social media and that's all you hear nowadays. Like even when you dating, you know what I mean, it's like if you're not paying the bills, blah blah, that you worthless. Get you a chat. That's I think that's <laughs> a quote. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, don't they always, didn't they have the white boy summer going on? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah that's great. Shout out to Canada. That's it for this session. Thanks for the um the rapper proof. Go follow them because um they really they're cool, real cool podcast. I really I really dig their style and how respectful they keep everything with the young ladies and stuff. And you know that's what you want to see. You want to see the image of of black and more men being respectful with women and vice versa. You know, good example to follow. All right, I'll be back. <laughs>